Welcome back. So since the last video, I actually tested out that um, collar, oil collar, the one out of Delrin, and initially it didn't actually hold any pressure whatsoever. So uh, let me show you what happened there. All right, so here's the deal. So I tried this thing out in the aircraft, and uh, you, know, you see nothing happened to it. Um, it looks like it didn't absorb any of the oil or anything like that. It was still a snug fit and everything. Um, but it wasn't holding uh, enough pressure so you can see the drain holes in there and I've just gone and tapped those out because uh, they were just drilled out to drain so um, what goes on is that the oil feeds in through that top hole in there and then it sits in this first in the center channel and then it lines up with holes in the prop shaft that allow the oil to feed through down the shaft to the to the prop and then the pressure turns the blades so these next set of channels on either side of that center thing there are supposed to be a tight fit in order to keep the pressure up there but they're just not enough with this one now they worked fine on the uh, on the steel one um, but they're not working on this one so what's happening is the oil is just sort of passing this first channel here getting to the drain hole and then just coming out the bottom there going into the housing and you don't get enough pressure build up to turn the prop blades so um, in order to you know move on without having to recreate another one of these and see if this is actually going to work what i'm going to do is basically block these holes up so i've uh, tapped them out there and i'm going to put some plugs in there and then the oil will have to come past that channel and then past this other um, slip fit here so this this id here is a little bit narrower than these ones um, so it's a slip fit on the shaft so the oil is going to have to come past here and i'm probably going to have to iterate on this probably going to have to test it once and it's probably going to not um, bleed the pressure off at all uh, because it's going to seal too well possibly and you know because this channel is twice the width now it's also going on a part of the prop shaft where there's no damage um, you know no scoring and stuff from before from the other one uh, so it's going to have a probably a much better seal there and if it's just seals too much then what i'll do is i'll drill some holes in these caps that i have here and just make little little bleed holes out of there and I can just sort of slowly upscale those so we're getting enough oil bleeding through this thing uh, for it to actually you know hold enough pressure but also bleed down when the pressure comes off from the governor that's sending the high pressure oil so that's what's going to happen I'm probably going to have to iterate on it a couple of times but uh, you know that's what prototyping is all about you try something and it doesn't work 100% and so you make a change and then you test it again so that's what's going on. So now I'm going to get it all back together and uh, and try this with uh, you know with it completely blocked up on the on the outlet holes. All right, so I'm out on the ramp here and uh, got the engine all warmed up, just about ready to do a run. So the the process here was just going to be run up to about 3,200 RPM and then cycle the governor back, which should should pull the engine back to uh, 2,900 RPM. So let's just see how that goes. there you should have been able to hear there that I cycled it twice and then tried to come back a third time and it just wasn't working it just wasn't holding any pressure so um, you know the guess was that the heat had expanded it enough that it wasn't able to hold pressure anymore so uh, yeah unfortunately the Delrin is not going to work so I guess the next thing to do now is to uh, switch over to bronze so as you saw by that run there, the governor actually worked initially 
Um, but once the hot oil got in there, uh, it started e expanding and then of course it wouldn't hold pressure because the gap around the shaft was just too large. And so I, you know, I, I assumed that that was the case. And so then I let it go to the next morning when it was cold again, and I tried it again and the same thing. It worked initially uh, a couple of times. And then as soon as everything sort of warmed up, it, uh, it wasn't holding pressure anymore. So it, obviously the Delrin's not gonna work. So the good, the good news was um, that the thread where it was the oil feed was going in there, that wasn't being compromised, that worked fine. Um, and then when I pulled it all apart, and even when it was still warm, the oil collar in there, which is basically just a very tight fit to go in the back through the, the back uh, small bearing race, wouldn't actually come out of there. It had expanded that much. So um, just for future reference, if you have Delrin like this and you heat it up to about, I think it was about 190 or 200 degrees almost that the oil temperature went to, um, it expanded probably, you know, a couple of thousands uh, in the um you know diameter uh, or you know circumference or whatever and so that wasn't enough to seal it so what's happening now is i'm going to switch to brass and not only just switching to brass also going to move the uh, drain channels outboard a little bit so where the close tolerance area is in between the, the feed channel and um, then the next drain channel it's going to pick up some of that prop shaft that hasn't had any damage to it yet and so that way it should be basically back to square one again in terms of you know having the same type of geometry and everything like that that I had with the steel one. Um, but with a bronze one, it's still gonna run the bearings on the outside. So it won't be riding on the shaft um, directly, but we're gonna do a slip fit on there. And then if it ends up being too tight in terms of allowing the oil to feed through to the drain channels, then I can just run in there with a brake hone and, and take off a half the hour at a time or whatever until I get it uh, dialed in just right. And if for some reason uh, it, uh, even with the, you know, the little bit of damage that's on the shaft there, um, if it doesn't seal right, I can block up the drain holes again and do what I was going to do with the Delrin one. So that's the plan. I'm waiting on that uh, bronze one. It should be done uh, in another couple of days. The machine shop's busy working on that, or at least I'm in the schedule and it should be done you know, sometime in the middle of this week, hopefully or t towards the end of the week. So we'll give that one a try. I know it's a lot of trial and error, but you know, this is, <laughs> this is what it is when you're prototyping. Uh, anyway, that's gonna be the update. Thanks again for watching, and I'll uh, let you know when I have more news on this uh, new uh, bronze oil collar. Cheers.